We're going live on the SWT World Team page. Hopefully everything goes smoothly. Been having a little bit of problems with the streaming the last couple of weeks. Boom, it worked. Hey, did I just say boom? Yes, I did. So, all right. I got a couple of. Very salubrious. <laughs> you like that word, do you? <laughs> All right. Welcome to the call, everyone. We got just uh, another minute. If you got anybody that you want to invite to the call, uh, go grab them. Bring them here. And we'll have a salubrious day. <laughs> Hi, Anita. Welcome to the call. Everyone that's joined us, thanks for being here. I know you got other things that you'd rather be doing than sitting here on a conference call, but hopefully I can help you out in understanding some of the things that we have going on. For you that have joined us on Facebook, welcome. Welcome to the call. And for the, you, those of you who are listening um, to the recorded version of this, uh, Thanks for taking the time for being here with us as well. My name is Dr. Kirk Fisnick, and you know, I guess uh, as an independent distributor with Sizzle, uh, the opinions that I that I state in this presentation are mine. Um, they're not of uh, Sizzle's, the companies, or any employees over at the company. And you know, um, I try not to make any um, claims. You know, we don't, we can't make any medical claims at all. So I try and uh, state that. And on the video recording, you'll notice that I put that disclaimer right away. Uh, no medical claims. We don't claim to cure, treat, or anything like that. So even though um, some things that I say might sound like a, a, a statement of some kind like that, it's not. Trust me, it's not. Okay. Um, so my goal is uh, I've had a few people ask me to cover some products and give some more information, some more in-depth information on uh, different products. And we thought we'd start out with uh, talking about the age pill. And uh, so the age pill is a fantastic product. It's one of our top sellers. We've had the product now roughly about four years and just some tremendous testimonials. And uh, so I'm not going to have time to have any testimonials tonight, but I suggest that if you're listening to some of the things that I'm going to tell you, the information, and you say, hey, do we have any actual testimonials on it? Chances are we do. Just go back into the YouTube channel, um, and you'll be able to find them there. You know, scientists became more significantly interested in NAD um, when it was discovered that it had a crucial uh, role in the aging process. So, you know, what is NAD? It's nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide. Say that 10 times fast. And this is a molecule that's found in every living cell, not just in humans, but in all living creatures. And NAD plus is used to convert food into energy and to repair the pathways that keep us healthy. Um, without NAD plus, uh, you'd be dead in about 30 seconds. That's how important it is. So studies indicate that we can use this molecule to reverse age-related damage in our cells. And if we maintain high levels, it supports the slowing of the aging process. So um, I hope to show you a few things here that uh, um, might interest you. So studies show that NAD plus restores muscle strength and, and muscle stamina. I noticed when I first started taking it, um, I could walk further without, without having uh, pain. You know, for those of you that know me, I was in a bad motorcycle wreck. And, and uh, so I had lost a, a lot of muscle tone on my right side. And I found that this product really helped me out. Uh, NAD plus also improves insulin sensitivity 
and it restores uh, cellular energy. And that works through the ATP pathways. If you remember your, your high school biology, the Krebs cycle and all of that, um, then you remember ATP and uh, NAD+. You know, other studies indicate that NAD+, supports the systems that activate the longevity genes in our body, as well as supporting DNA repair through the sirtuin genes. And we'll talk about that. NAD+, um, helps to govern the sleep and wake cycles, the circadian rhythm in your body. And we talk about lifespan. Lifespan is the, the length of time that you're alive. Health span is actually that length of time that you're healthy in your life. And they show that most people spend the last 20% of their life, 10 to 20% suffering from chronic disease. So why don't we try and close that gap a little bit, make it so that they suffer a less amount of time. And NAD plus supports the system of the body that help you maintain mental acuity, mental sharpness. It helps to provide support for the body for protection of the liver, the kidney, the heart, um, and also for the blood vessels. So what's that mean for you? A longer, healthier life. NAD plus declines with age and you can't take NAD. If somebody says, oh, I'm going to give you um, an NAD uh, supplement, no, they can't. You, you can't absorb um, the NAD plus directly from your food. Your body has to manufacture it. And with age, old cells just aren't that good. They're not that efficient at making NAD plus as young cells. That's why as you get older, you tend to lose energy. And what I found since I started taking age, I'm going to use my own testimonial a lot because, um, you know, I can tell you how I feel. I can, I can be honest and straightforward with that. I mean, I have more energy. I sleep better. So I've noticed the circadian rhythm thing as well. And old cells, well, I mean, let's just look at it. They're old. Old cells are old. And so they have a lot of things wrong with them. They're damaged. Just like I like my old cars. And I know when I buy another old car, I'm going to have to do a lot of work to put that thing back on the road. I'm going to have to do repair. But not only that, every year, I'm going to have to do more maintenance on that, on that old car. I've also got a brand new car. A brand, that's actually a truck. I have a truck, a Chevrolet truck. And I have a brand new one because I don't have to do any work. I change the oil. I fill it with gas. I put new tires on it. You know, that's pretty much it. When it starts to get high mileage on it, I get rid of it and I get another one because I want to have a car that I can drive around well, without having to worry about it. Wouldn't that be nice if that was your body? So damage happens over the lifetime of your body. It doesn't just happen overnight. It's not usually something that just, boom, one day you wake up and you go, oh my gosh, I'm old. No, it comes on over a period of time. So your DNA is damaged every day by stress and environmental factors, UV rays, and, and just you know, living causes stress and the repair enzymes need NAD plus as their fuel, as their fuel. So a lot of things that I'm going to share is going to make you kind of open your eyes. How does the age pill do this? How does the, how does the age pill do so many things? NAD helps out with fighting inflammation. And as we'll talk about when we talk about uh, senescence, when cells go into senescence, um, they get this uh, uh, senescence-activated um, problems, and one of them is inflammation. Well, the age pill helps with that. So NAD plus and the immune system. You know, in the news, I mean, if you want to talk a top-mind awareness, if you're sharing information right now with people about NAD plus and they're worried about, you know, the current... Uh, health problem that's going around the world, this pandemic. Um, you know, why are they worried about older people? Well, it's, it's not that hard to guess that as you get old, the immune system just doesn't work as good. And we also know, like we've already talked about, the NAD plus levels decrease. Low levels of NAD plus lead to impairment of the body's innate immunity. And the immune system is the first line of defense against any foreign invader of the body, a virus, a bacteria, funguses, molds. Those are 
foreign invaders of the body. So NAD plus works with the group of genes called the sirtuin genes, which help to prevent viral replication. Where we heard viral replication? Well, Tom talked a lot about that with fulvic acid, but he also talked about how NAD plus worked with this as well. And it helped prevent viral replication. What does that mean? Well, the virus gets in your body and it can't grow. If it can't grow, it can't cause you to get sick. So you might get the virus, but you're able to fight it off because your immune system can, can fight it before it over, uh, overcomes you. And so if the virus can't replicate, boom. I just said boom again. And uh, that's going to make it so that you can get healthier. So keep the NAD levels, NAD plus levels up. You're going to keep the sirtuin genes healthy. And that's going to help to support, again, Here's where I can say I'm not making any medical claims because I'm saying it helps support a healthy immune response. Okay, very good for um, you know the older folks in your life, the people that you know, if you want to help them fight off this uh, disease and prevent it uh, to get them looking at. It. So, what is aging? You know, aging is a complex thing. Um, you know, in the last couple of years, uh, we've really understood a lot of different things. I've been studying it. Uh, myself for the last 30 years. And, and I can tell you that uh, 10 years ago, uh, I thought that, holy cow, we've made some great hay headway, right? When we, when we discovered, um, you know, the uh, whole thing about the telomeres. And um, then, you know, we started talking about senescence and these sorts of things. But aging occurs when you have multiple failure of cells and organs and tissues. And it's just a complex acceleration of decline and your your genetics interacts with the environment around you um, changes in the cells uh, you know as far as the nuclear power plant the mitochondria increased inflammation accumulation of damaged stem cells that recruit other cells to go rogue what is that senescence folks that's senescence impaired message delivery systems um, you think about people that have uh, blood sugar problems, dysglycemia. What is that? Well, that's when the body isn't getting the right message. The cells aren't listening to the right message. They're not listening. They're not hearing anymore. Or maybe there's something that uh, crosswired in there and, and your body's saying, hey, 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 ship down some more vitamin C down here. But instead, your brain reads it as saying, get us some more calories. So you, you, you go and eat, but really, your brain wasn't telling you that you were hungry. The brain was saying that you needed more vitamin C. That's an impaired message. And then we have damaged DNA, like we talked about, the DNA that gets damaged from stress and it gets damaged from UV radiation and gets damaged from chemicals and injuries. I mean, for God's sakes, I mean, you fall down, it's going to damage the DNA. And all of these things together contribute to your aging process. I remember patients used to come into my clinic and they'd say, Kurt, they say, you know, my back didn't hurt five years ago. Why does it hurt so bad today? And I had this chart on the wall and, I, and, and, and it had a hundred different pictures of things that happen to people over the course of their lifetime. They fall down, they get in a car accident, you know, all these different things. I used to point and I'd say, which one is you? And, and, and you know, before you know it, they had five or six different things. Well, that's the same thing that happens with aging. So if we can treat aging as the disease, Treat aging as if it is the major problem, and then you're going to have some great results with it. So people spend billions of dollars every year on anti-aging creams and products and surgeries. I, they predicted not that many years ago that the anti-aging market was going to turn into a trillion dollar a year market, actually the third trillion dollar a year um, industry ever, right? Um, the first trillion dollar a year industry. I know uh, I can't ask you guys to answer that question, but some of you are thinking you know what it is. The automobile industry is the first trillion dollar a year industry. And it was driven by baby boomers, that group of people that um, just decided what they had to have a car, not just one car. They had two or three or 50. And, uh, and <laughs> yeah, I've got 50 cars. But um, what's the next trillion dollar industry? The next trillion dollar industry is the computer industry. Everybody had to have a computer. And I remember when I was going to school for engineering, um, 
I thought, oh my gosh, these computers, that's not going to really go anywhere. Now we have one that runs our refrigerator and our microwave and our car. And we carry one around, one around in our hands. Some people have a pacemaker that's run by a, a computer. Some people have um, kidneys that are run by computers. And NAD pre uh, precursors, NAD plus precursors, um, reverse the aging process from the inside out. And so we can effectively treat the disease when we make the world a lot healthier. And that's what they're saying. So NAD plus is the molecule that exists in each and every cell in your body, and it supports healthy aging. Who wouldn't want that? Who wouldn't want to slow down the aging process? So let's talk about a couple things. NAD plus and vascularity. So studies show that the CERT1 gene, it's one of the CERT2 genes, improves vascular function. The CERT1 gene affects many pathways for proper endothelial function. It can decrease inflammation, and it's been shown to improve the levels of fats, cholesterol, as well as blood glucose. So the CERT1 gene supports anti-atherosclerotic properties. How is this related to the, to the age pill? Well, the age pill supports healthy NAD levels, and NAD plus is the fuel that drives the CERT1 gene. Without NAD plus, again, you'd be dead in about 30 seconds. NAD plus is the fuel for the CERT1 gene. So can we show the relationship? I just did. So studies in mice tell us that this isn't just a theory. They've actually proven it. It works. Are there testimonials in, in humans? You bet. You bet. I talk to people uh, every week that tell me that they have better circulation in their legs and their arms. We know it's there. Again, we can't make any claims, but you can listen to other people tell you their story. And in my opinion, you know, facts tell, stories sell. So learn, learn the stories, and then you can use this uh, presentation to show how it works. What about dementia? So Alzheimer's disease is a large percentage of the people who have dementia. It's caused by marked uh, pathologies that cause inflammation of the nervous system and an accumulation of placking and mitochondrial damage, right? Mitochondria, the nuclear power plants of the cell. Um, the mitochondria, when they get exposed to stress, the, the, the DNA in the mitochondria is the most easily damaged by stress than any other uh, DNA. So patients with Alzheimer's disease, AD, that stands for Alzheimer's disease, have lowered expression of the CERT1 gene. This is something that scientists have found. And the CERT1 gene is capable of reducing these amyloid plaques. Hmm, interesting. So what product do you think of when you think of the CERT2 gene? A lot of people think of uh, our Eternity product because it has high um, levels of resveratrol. But in order to make the resveratrol work with the CERT2 gene, again, you have to have the NAD+. Plus, and that's where the age pill comes in because the age pill has the precursors that helps your body get the proper levels of the NAD. So... If you increase the CERT1 gene expression, um, studies have shown that you have preservation of learning and memory um, in Alzheimer's diseased mice, as well as improved cognitive function in non-Alzheimer's um, diseased mice. So any testimonials in humans? I'll just give you mine, right? Um, I went to school for engineering. I went to school to be a physician. I mean, I had the memory. I mean, it was sharp as a tack. You could tell me your phone number. You could tell me your name. I'd remember it. I could remember everybody at a party. Um, and I didn't have to, I didn't have to jot anything down. I, I pretty much remembered everybody. And then uh, as I got older, when I got into my fifties, I started noticing I had pockets full of post-it notes because I had to, I had to write everything down. I had to give myself little notes to remember what to do tomorrow and all those things. Um, I started taking the age pill and all of a sudden, voila, I don't have uh, a single post-it note in my pocket. That's pretty cool. That's my own testimonial. Vision. I mean, holy cow. What about human testimonials and vision? I'm just going to tell you um, for me, myself that um, I, I started wearing reading glasses, you know, the little cheaters that you wear when you're, when you're reading. 
uh, especially when I uh, was looking at um, my phone because I use my phone a lot because I'm on the road a lot. And, and I started using my phone as my computer and, and I found that I couldn't read the screen very well. So retinal neuropathy and macular degeneration are the most common cause of blindness in the Western world. And they're related to diabetic neuropathy. Studies on the precursors for NAD uh, show that you can uh, reverse this. Studies show that. And so survival of the photoreceptors is related to, be, is related to the sirtuin gene. Again, you're going to start seeing this word, sirtuin genes. How does NAD relate to all these different things? It seems that one of the things that, that pulls it all together are this group of genes called the sirtuin genes. And the one we talk a lot about is the sirt one because that repairs the damaged DNA. But they repair the damaged cells. So supplementation with NAD precursors was found to restore retinal function in these different studies. Hmm. Could NAD precursors be the clue to the common diseases of the eye? It's a good question, isn't it? So we look at NAD plus and mental function. So depression has been related to a lot of things, including inflammation, disruption of the function of the synapse, right? Your synapse, what's a synapse? It's where one part of the nerve meets up with another part of the nerve. Think of it like a, um, like a, a, a fuse box where, where it's a junction and you have one wire coming in, but four wires coming out. So you can run one light switch, but it controls four lights. Well, that's what a synapse is. And um, so what happens is, is when you start getting depression, those synapses aren't working as good as they're supposed to be. And that's part of the problem with depression. You've heard um, doctors prescribing SSRIs, which are serotonin-specific reuptake inhibitors. And what they do is they try to manipulate the amount of, of, of chemicals inside that synapse. Well, they found that sirtuin genes play a role in the development of this depression. And there's a decrease in the sirt one gene when the body undergoes stress. What causes uh, uh, depression? A lot of times it's triggered by stress. You know, something happens. You've got a death in the family. You, you start to feel depressed. You lose your job. You get depressed. You, something wrong with your health. You get depressed, right? Chronic stress. And so here's the relationship is that it causes a decrease in the CERT1 gene. And again, how do you get the CERT1 genes working again? You fuel them with NAD+. Holy cow, folks, are you seeing the relationship here? It's just amazing. So you want to have an expression of the CERT1 genes, and it's going to improve the mental moods. What happens to be one of the ingredients in the age pill? It's something called 5-hydroxytryptophan. 5-hydroxytryptophan. And what does 5-hydroxytryptophan do? Well, it's the precursor specifically for serotonin. It's the feel-good neurotransmitter. Uh, you know, they, they, they say that you can, you can give your girlfriend a box of chocolate, and she feels good just looking at the chocolate. It raises serotonin level. She doesn't even have to eat the chocolate. But when she eats the chocolate, the chocolate causes a release of a lot of serotonin, and it drives away the anxiety. It drives away the anxiety. So, guys, if you're, if you're uh, you know, in trouble this weekend, get some chocolate. Hand it to your girlfriend. So wouldn't it make sense to increase the levels of NAD+, plus? it's the fuel for the sirtuin genes. And it has a profound effect on mental function and, and mental disorders. Have we heard of testimonials like that? I've talked to people that tell me that they feel better the very next day. I started taking it myself, and within three days, I noticed that blues were bluer and greens were greener. I could uh, see things, and I could hear things uh, as I walked around in the, in the, in, in, in the, in the uh, nature park down the street from me here, and I could, I, it, was like, it was like, holy cow, there's a deer. I could see it, right? And uh, things that I didn't see before. So NAD is really important, and that's where the age pill comes in. So cardiovascular disease is the world's leading cause of death. Actually, last year in the United States, cancer passed cardiovascular disease. But now they're saying that, uh, well, this year it's going to be a virus. But um, in most cases, it's cardiovascular disease. But what happens is the blood vessels start to get thick. They start to get stiff. They're less flexible, which leads to high blood pressure. Your heart has to work harder and harder and harder to push the blood through as this disease progresses. So in animal studies, they found that NAD plus reduces the effects of the age-related changes seen in the arteries. 
And in human studies, this is actually in human studies, they found that NAD precursors help to reduce the hardening of the arteries and lower the pressure seen in the arteries with high-risk adults. They took a group of high-risk adults and they actually saw this. Pretty cool study. Have we seen that in our testimonials? I suggest you go listen to some of the testimonials, talk to other people, and you'll find out that there are. Are there other benefits that we see with NAD plus? You bet. So NAD plus is necessary for ATP production. Again, ATP is the fuel that drives the Krebs cycle. It's the fuel of life. So studies with mice indicate that the NAD precursors speed up metabolism. Speed up metabolism. What is What good is that if you have better metabolism? Where are you going to burn sugars and fats and all these things? And so it's going to help you maintain a healthy body weight. Does it have the same effect in humans? You know, I can't make any claims on it, but it would sure make sense because they do a lot of studies on mice and rodents to see how things are going to affect humans. So I'll just leave it at that. NAD precursors improve the CERT1 gene activity. CERT1 genes protect you against and repair DNA damage, which is related to the development of cancer. Can we say that um, NAD plus precursors will lower the risk of cancer? No, that's not proven at all. We can't say that. We can't make that claim at all. But I can just say that the studies that they've shown at major universities, without mentioning the university, the studies have shown that health protect against UV damaged. That is proven. You make the, you have to draw your conclusions from there. You know, I can't make any medical claim. But as I said earlier, NAD helps to regulate the internal clock, the sleep, the wake cycle, the circadian rhythm. Can taking NAD precursors improve jet lag? They say yes. Can it improve the circadian rhythms by resetting the clock? The studies say yes. You know, can I make any medical claims? No, not at all. Um, studies show that raising the NAD levels, we can support and improve muscle function. We can improve strength and endurance. This is shown in older mice. They've actually shown that if you take older mice and you start giving them these NAD plus precursors, you can actually make the older mice function better, both in muscle function and in cognitive function than the younger mice. What about in humans? What about in humans? Do we have any testimonials? We do. Go on to the um, uh, YouTube page, the, the team YouTube page, SWT uh, World Team uh, YouTube page, and you'll find testimonials that show that people are, are saying all over the place that they had improved energy. They found that they felt better. They had less muscle pain. They had less fatigue. <clears throat> so, you know, I practiced alternative medicine for over 33 years. And uh, in addition to my chiropractic background, you know, I've worked with and studied under some of the iconic figures in the anti-aging uh, movement, you know, we'll call it a movement. And I've just developed this passion of helping people. Um, and every day, Every day from morning to night, I'm taking phone calls, working with people. I don't just do it part-time. I do it full-time. And so I ask people all the time, you know, do you need to have a disease like heart disease or diabetes or cancer or dementia to share ideas and thoughts with somebody else on supporting a healthier body? I mean, I hope not. I hope not. You know, um, if you know of something that's going to help somebody that has diabetes, wouldn't you share it with them? Even if you didn't get paid a dime, wouldn't you share it with them just because you go, hey, I know something that might help you, you know, or maybe you have a health problem of your own. I mean, do you need any more science than what I just shared with you? I mean, doesn't this develop the curiosity enough that you go, hey, it might help me. So think about that. Everybody wants to live healthier. You may not want to live longer, but you want to live healthier, don't you? That's important. And so does everybody else. So share this information with them. Get this information out to them. And what product do I recommend? I mean, there's going to be a lot of products out there. If you go on the, on the internet and do you do searches on NAD plus uh, precursors, you're going to find a lot of products on the market. Um, a lot of us two products. They use one or two ingredients. They use low levels of this or that. Um, and it just doesn't work. Uh, you know, I remember when Tom Sr., uh, was sharing with us, he said that, you know, that, that the percentages of ingredients that 
that you have to use in order to make a, a product that's actually going to work. And there wasn't any product on the market that even came close to what we have. I mean, we're, uh, we're, we're probably five to 10 years ahead of everyone else. And by the time they catch up to the science that we have, we'll have moved on. We'll have come up with something even greater. We'll have advanced our product. But listen to the testimonials. We've got hundreds of testimonials. And really, when Tom Sr. put this together, what a fantastic product, the sizzle age pill. You know, and we can't make any medical claims. We can't say that these studies were done on the age pill because we're, we're not a scientific study uh, facility. What we are is we're a formula, formulating uh, facility. So we take the research that's out there and we put together products. We formulate the world's best products. And I, I'm, I'm, I'm being totally serious. Best, best, B-E-S-T, remember that. And so let me teach you a new word. Mike knows it. Salubrious. Salubrious means health promoting. Health promoting. So we're all being salubrious today. And I hope you found the information as salubrious as I found it. Have a great day. Bye-bye.